Welcome to Tech Wizard. In this episode, we're going to be discussing how to use Panasonic's Easy IP Setup Tool Plus software for Windows. Now, a lot of you are probably already familiar with the original Easy IP Setup software, so I'm going to highlight some of the major differences in the Plus version. If you haven't done so already, head over to our past site and download the latest software. Easy IP Setup Tool Plus is a free download that'll allow you to set up and configure Panasonic cameras, controllers, and shading panels. So let's start by booting up our PC and loading the software. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is to download the Easy IP Setup Tool Plus software. The software can be downloaded for free from the Panasonic Pass site. If you're not familiar with Pass, check out our video on navigating the Pass site. When the software first loads, it will auto search the network for Panasonic devices, or you can press search to manually search for devices. The drop down menu will also allow you to filter results to a specific NIC. Once the devices are discovered on the network, you'll see more information, including model, IP address, firmware version, and MAC addresses. If you select a device, you'll notice the Network Settings button becomes active. Selecting this will allow you to configure the device for your network. Once you've entered the information, press Setup to send the new settings to your device. Some devices may have a setting enabled that will only allow changes to be made for 20 minutes after the device has been powered on. If the device has been powered on for longer than 20 minutes, you'll get the following warning box. We can simply power cycle the device to regain access. Once power has been cycled, you'll regain the ability to make the changes in Easy IP Setup Tool Plus software. If needed, the 20 minute lockout can be changed in the camera's menu. Some devices may require an administrator to be registered when they're first initialized. Select the device and press the administrator registration button. The registration dialog will appear. Enter an admin username and password to register the device. Another way you can set up the device's IPs is to use the auto IP feature. Auto IP will allow you to automatically set contiguous IP addresses for a group of cameras based on a starting address. To perform an auto IP setting, select auto IP to open the dialog box. Then select the devices from the list that you wish to assign an IP address to automatically and select whether you want them to be DHCP or static. If you select Option, you can set the subnet information, gateway, port numbers, and DNS information. Press Setup to send the new IP information to the devices. After sending the information, you can now see that our IPs have changed in the main menu. One really useful tool in the Easy IP Setup Tool Plus software is the ability to automatically search for and update firmware for many devices. If you select the Firmware Upgrade button, the software will search for upgradable devices and the Firmware Upgrade dialog box will open. A list of devices that can be upgraded will be shown. If you have an internet connection, you can leave Auto selected at the top to allow the software to download and install the latest firmware directly. Check the devices you want to update on the left and either enter the admin username and password on the line to the right, or if all devices share a common username and password, you can enter it at the bottom of the screen and select input to fill it out for the individual cameras and devices. Once ready, select update to begin the firmware update. Firmware can also be loaded manually. If you select manual from the top of the dialog box, you can then select the local file on the right or select a file under batch input and press input, if all devices are to receive the same firmware. Don't forget to enter the username and password, even when doing a manual update. Finally, from the main page, we can also load the device's web GUI if it has one, by selecting the web GUI button. This will open the default browser and navigate to the device's built-in web page, which will allow us to make other changes and control specific devices. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on this topic or any other pro video topics, give us a call at this number or email us at provideosupport at us.panasonic.com.